Hey guys, Rick Shaw here. Still the fifth. Uh, I got an update. Uh, Santa Claus is living in the Philippines. Sent me a good link about this uh, senior card. And if you do get one and use it, it's like draconian. Uh, Looked like jail sentences and then deportation, all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, my opinion on, the, on this kind of thing is uh, if you've worked here and you're a permanent resident, you're married to a Filipina, uh, it would seem that it, it would be the thing to do. Uh, but since it's not the thing to do, they should just give every country the way, the way we're treated in a foreign country, we should give back to them when they come to our own. Uh, don't let any uh, uh, Mexican or uh, Filipino own, own land in the country. Don't let them have any senior benefits. Uh, treat them the way we get treated. Uh, we come here, we spend a good bit of money. Most of us employ many people, you know, housemaids, things like that. Uh, boost the economy. Uh, last time I checked, it was 138,000 just Americans living here legally, uh, bringing their money with them and spending it. So, but we're look, you know, we're looked down upon is what what I can see uh, by the government. Now the stores. Uh, when I do go into stores now and I get into the senior line, uh, it's not a problem. You know, the stores can do that. Uh, and you know that's kind of cool but uh, doesn't look like you can get it now I, I do understand why they don't let you own land here because the Chinese would have come up and bought everything there was already uh, and with these fiat currencies that they the governments use they would be putting agents in place just to take it all so they're, they're protecting this is a protectionist country they're protecting the Filipino but the thing that gets me I'm married to my wife I don't understand why uh, we both can't own the land and if something happened to her right now I got a year that I got to dispose of it uh, that's the last time I checked uh, you know it, it just doesn't seem right you know that that you come here and it's your home and I know Filipinos that go to America they buy a house uh, they live there and you know and they can keep it and pass it down and it doesn't matter if their spouse lives or dies uh, you know it just seems a uh, uh, a little bit too much protectionism uh, to me anyway it is what it is but uh, they, sh they should they should treat people the way uh, you're treated in foreign countries that's that's just my opinion I know in Mexico you can't buy land either uh, so any Mexican coming in sorry can't have land uh, they don't want to they don't want to uh, give you any kind of benefits thing that gets me though is is I came here and worked for many years they didn't say, okay, you're a foreigner, you can't avail of any of our stuff, but they still took Social Security out, taxes, plus I got less pay because my employer had to match it. I had to pay in this pie big that I, can, I can't use. Where'd that money go? So it's another tax on me. Uh, you know, is that fair? Uh, you know, just all these extra taxes on us if you work. Uh, and then you gotta remember too, the, the uh, personal taxes that they'll put on you sometimes when you shop not all places but uh, I remember when I first come here I smoked I, I smoked and there was a little store up the street from us and I don't buy a whole pack I'm not one of these guys who buy a pack and smoke a whole pack in a day and I'll buy I'll buy a smoke here or maybe two and it'll last me a few days well she was charging me 10 peso and for a year now it wasn't all that much money in a year you know maybe it was a pack okay 200 peso but uh, my buddy came over and he said i'm going up to the store to get a smoke and i said hey give me give me one i gave him 10 pesos and he came back and gave me eight pesos and i and i was like wow that kind of that kind of sucks what, what what was that all about he said that's all they're only two pesos i said that lady been charging me 10 peso oh so we went back there she says what do you care you're rich so there, there's a there's a personal tax that you get. Another time, my wife and I. Now, like I'm going to tell you again, this isn't all the time. Sometimes they'll give you a real good deal. Uh, but there was uh, we were in the, uh, the mall where there wasn't prices on stuff. It's kind of like on the floor in the middle on the first floor, and they got all these little shops and there's no prices on stuff. And I saw a uh, a man purse uh, that I wanted for my wallet and the phone and all the different paraphernalia you carry instead of being in pockets. 
and uh, my wife haggled it down to a, a good amount and then as soon as the lady seen me boom it was right back up she got it down to 650 from I think it was 12 or 1300 something like that and uh, as soon as she saw me to go pay nope 160 nope full price and there was no dealing with her I mean we didn't buy anything from her she lost a sale but but uh you know that's just that's that personal tax that you get when you're here watch out for it i i pretty much uh got known around here because when they gouge me like that i just stop shopping with them you know and i go to the people who treat me good like my um buddy boy up here that passed away uh he always treated me good in this store and uh one time i went up there and i said oh you know i was getting something for the kids and i says yeah i know you're a little bit more and i'm gonna buy it but you know right over here it's less with that guy and yeah so he's yeah okay here just give me eight for that you know <laughs> so there are some people that are going to treat you super nice now when it comes to this card though i it it looks like i'm gonna put the link in the description for this uh for this thing that santa claus sent me thanks a lot santa that was a good gift you sent along and it ain't even christmas time but uh that's it's good good information to know but uh there are still are a lot of places I, I i'd like to know more if we can go in lines whether government lines and we can use the senior line i'm not going to be pulling the card out other than my driver's license just says i'm over 60 if they ask me and if they're gonna okay it fine if not well then i guess i'll go stand in a long line but uh don't know i have somebody else mentioned something about airports that they see uh foreigners going in the lines for the airports i i don't know i don't use the airport that much anymore but but uh anybody got any more comments on that uh put them in there we're gonna we're gonna learn some stuff uh let's get this all figured out so this is rickshaw out